editing a page in Elementor. So we have a website here, ST Actors Guild, Actors Theater, wrong one. So we want to edit this page here, the perfect party. So we can go to our WordPress admin and log in, and then once we do, we're going to see our uh, navigation items at the top here. So it's usually easiest just to get in here, but sometimes you'll log in <coughs> and you'll be sent straight to the dashboard. <coughs> so if you go to the dashboard, you're going to find the page by going to Pages, and then you're going to look for Perfect Party or whatever page you want to edit. What I recommend you first do is go to Settings, Updraft Plus Backups, <coughs> and click this backup button. If you don't have this plugin installed, we do on this website. It's called Updraft Plus Backup Restore. It does a great job of being able to save database, plugins, themes, uploads, others. And you can click each of these and download them to your computer. It does take a few minutes to complete. In the meantime, let's go over to the page and go to All Pages. We'll right click and we'll open it up in the New Tab. And then we're going to navigate to the New Tab. And we'll go find the page that we want to edit. Once we're on this page, we we'll click on Edit with Elementor. Once Elementor loads, you're going to see this new kind of what you see is what you get kind of editor. So you could scroll down and say, for instance, I wanted to get rid of this Rashida speaking. I could right click and then select delete. And then it's gone. I could do the same for the next one down and the next one down and the next one down. Once they're all removed and I'm happy with the way it looks, I go over here and I select update. And I'll just show you the change by adding a one to this. Notice how this became highlighted. I select update. Now if I go to the front end of this website and I look at perfect party, I'll now see a number one at the end of Rashida speaking. I'm going to go ahead and remove that one and leave it as it is and let you edit this. Once you're finished making your edits and your deletions and you do the update, you can select this little hamburger menu up the top here and go to exit. That's just going to take you back to the page again. And you're basically finished, and you can leave the website by logging out, and you're finished. That's it.